Ingram was nicknamed the cheating major after making it to the £1 million question on ITV's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. ITV's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was forced to take a good look at the way that things are done on the quiz show after a cheater was unveiled back in 2001. Charles Ingram shot into the limelight for all of the wrong reasons as his wife and friend helped him to cough his way to the £1 million jackpot. He became one of the first and only people to win the maximum prize. The first UK winner was Judith Keppel, a contestant who scooped up the £1 million prize in 2000. But former Army Major, Charles, actually ended up landing himself a suspended prison sentence instead of a hefty cash prize as his simple but smart plan was foiled by producers. Working with his wife Diana and accomplice Tequin Wittick in the audience, Charles would muse aloud the possible answers to questions posed by host Chris Tarrant. When he would mention the correct answer, a cough would sound from the audience. When the taping of Charles's episode finished, the production team immediately began to review the footage of the episode as they picked up on the peculiar pattern. Before long he was hauled off to court to face charges of fraud. Speaking about the deceiving scandal, host Chris Tarrant said, This was a very cynical plan, motivated by sheer greed. It is hugely insulting to the hundreds and hundreds of other contestants who have come on the show, just hoping for much smaller amounts of money but prepared to try and win their money honestly. It is unthinkable that anybody should come on the show and think they could go home with the biggest prize of all dishonestly. Fast forward 25 years and the producers now have tight measures in place to stop contestants from following in Charles's footsteps and cheating, especially when using the lifeline phone a friend. Producers are aware that friends at home could easily have a couple of books by their side and or their laptop open to Google, so they have put strict rules in place to stop them double-checking the right answer. They admitted that a small team had been put in place to check that the game is played honestly, according to broadcast. A small team was put in place to oversee and deploy fully briefed security officers to each person's home to ensure fair play. The need for this added a new financial and logistical aspect to the budget.